Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Um, excuse me if I sound a little bit nasal today. Um, I've, I'm a bit snotty. Anyway, I was working today, but now I'm back. So it's Saturday afternoon, wonderful, and I want to show you something awesome. Okay, this is a pickled steel. This one I'm not allowed to keep. I must send it back. But look at this thing. Okay, this is called the Fixie. Um, I think that's going to be the name. But this thing is quite marvelous. Now, okay, if it, this was mine, I would take off this thing and just get it in my pocket. But as it is, um, it's got this, I don't know what you call this style of clip, but it's got one of these. Okay, so you can put it through your belt. You can, I'm sure you can turn it around and maybe carry it horizontally. Or now it's set up for vertical carry. Beautiful Kydex sheath. Really nicely made Kydex sheath. Even the hardware is very, very nice on this thing. Okay, maybe you can put on... Well, I showed in one video how to make your own soft loops um, with leather. So you can do that if you want to carry it without buying anything. But again, wonderful Kydex sheath. Then, look at this little knife. Big lanyard hole. Big expo oh, yeah, exposed um, lanyard hole over here. We do see there is Torx bits over there. I'll check them now. There we go. Okay, this thing was shown at Huntex. So it's quite a small little thing, but I see they are... I'm going to lie to you. I think they're available for pre-order on the site already. Okay, beautiful micarta. Let's just check. Okay, so T8. Um, Torx bits over here. So you can open this thing. Nice three-finger grip over here. Do you see that? And the fourth finger rests just there. Okay, but it feels natural to want to hold it like this. Okay, on a cutting board, beautiful. We have contact all over. Beautiful shape. This worn cliff modified look, modified because it curves. And then we have a big sharpening choil over here. Okay, it's not something you can really use to choke up on, but I would not really want that to. And then a beautiful flat, flat ground blade. Now, it doesn't feel too thick, so let's quickly see if this thing can cut anything. Where's my conveniently... Ow! Conveniently located papers aren't that convenient to get. Okay. Bit of a hiccup there. Yeah, right about there is a little hiccup. But once you get past that, it's super short. Okay. But I'm pretty sure a strop or two, and it will be perfect. Chucking the papers. Okay, so this is a small little thing. Let me show some specs on this. Um, blade length. Six and a half, almost seven centimeters. Overall length, 15. Then in inches, two and a half inches cutting, and just a bit over that for blade length, and then six inches overall for the total stock thickness 2.9 millimeters which should be three millimeters i suppose because i am not known to measure all that great okay and then how much does this thing weigh 2.5 ounces for whoever wants to know this in grams There we go, grams. 72.8 grams. Okay. So this is quite a nice, small, little knife. I still think we need, um, what do you call that? A leather sheath on this thing. But I think maybe if you get this with the Kydex um, sheath and you get one of those, I think they call it easy clips or I don't know, but you know those clip it things that you bite onto your pocket? I think that would make this a really great inside of the pocket carry. Because I quite like getting fixed blades like this. Um, you can also do a neck carry. A neck carry. It's definitely light enough. Just take off this thing and then thread a piece of paracord or something through there. That would also work very nice. But 
this is a wonderful, wonderful little fixed blade for pretty much everything. Okay, you can use it for your utility cuts, you can use it on a board, you can maybe even skin a buffalo if you really want to. Okay, because you can get your finger to the tip quite easily to protect it. Anyway, we're not doing a skinning tutorial today. But I love the look of this thing. Look at it. This shadow box effect um, with the scales over the um, steel. And this thing is unbranded as yet. Okay. But I'm going to go with this is D2. If I'm lying to you, I will put it up here or here or somewhere. But if you don't see anything flash up, then it's definitely D2. Okay. And you know, I'm quite a fan of D2. For what you get, it's wonderful. And the little bit of corrosion problems, it's still a semi stainless steel. So it's not as if you're fighting with 1095 or something. Okay. Wonderful knife. Wonderful little thing. Um, pickled steel fixie. I think they are open for pre-orders, I'm pretty sure. And there's another one coming with a different blade shape. <coughs> Excuse me. So hopefully I can show you that one in a bit. Okay, all of you, um, tomorrow is Mother's Day. We'll see what we're going to do then. And spoil your mothers, spoil your wives, spoil something. If you have a girlfriend and you intend on making her a mother one day, spoil her also. All of you stay safe, happy, have a good one. Goodbye.